Shabbat Shalom, everyone, and welcome to today's scripture with the Yabajin. And today's scripture is Matthew chapter 24, verses 21 through 27, and it reads as follows. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Hamashiach, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Mashiachim, and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, so much so that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. For as the lightning comes out of the east and shines even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the son of Adam be. My question to all of you today is this. Are you the elect of Yah? Think about that for a second. Here in this passage of scripture, it says in Matthew twenty four twenty one, For then shall great tribulation, such as was, as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Now I know we're going through some things in this world right now, and people are having a fit over what is going on now. Like I said, you can turn on the news, you can, you know, go online, you can read the newspaper, however it is that you get your information and you can see and hear about some pretty horrible things that are going on in this world. But it's going to get worse, everybody. It is going to get much worse. It's going to be so bad that it's not going to be anything like what we have seen before in the past. That's how bad it's going to be, going to be. That's how bad it's going to get. And it goes on to say, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So that's why I asked the question, are you the elect of Yah? Because here in this passage of scripture, this is still Yahusha talking to his disciples. And in my last video channel, as I like to call them, um, what will be the sign of your coming? That was what he was describing. He was, Yahusha was describing to his disciples the things that are going to happen in these last days. And we're seeing some of these things come to pass even now. But he's continuing to talk to his disciples about what's going to happen. And he's saying right here in this verse that except the days get shortened, nobody's going to be saved. But for the elect's sake, the days shall be shortened. So that's key right there. Are you the elect of Yah? Because the tribulation that's going to take place in this world is going to be great. That means it's going to be much worse than what it is now. And if you're having a fit now, are you going to be able to stand what's going on in the days to come? And are you going to be the elect? Because only for the elect, Yahushua said, will the days be shortened. OK, so that means only the elect of Yah are going to be saved. 
Then he goes on to say, Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Hamashiach, or there, believe it not. So he's going right back to, you know, the deception that's going on in the world today. Okay, there are people out here saying that they are the Messiah. He's saying, if somebody's coming up to you saying that they are Messiah, the Messiah, don't believe it. Don't believe the hype, everybody. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of messianic hype out there. Don't believe it. Then he goes on to say, for there shall arise false Messiah king and false prophets and shall shall show great signs and wonders, so much so that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Okay? There it is again. He's talking about the elect. Once again, I ask you, are you the elect of Yah? Because there's going to rise many false messiahs, many false prophets. They're going to show great signs and wonders. And it goes on to say, so much so that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. So that's the thing. You've got to know whether you're the elect of Yah, because if you're not, you can be deceived. Okay? You can be deceived. He said, if it were possible... They shall deceive the very elect. So you've got to know that you're the elect of Yah and that you're not being deceived. We got to get into scripture, y'all. We've got to get into scripture because Yahusha is telling us right here in scripture what to look out for. He says, behold, I have told you before. You know, how many times have we said that to our children? I told you before. Why'd you, why'd you believe that? I told you the truth before. That's what he's saying. He says, Where if, wherefore, if they shall say unto you, behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers. Believe it not. Okay, so you can't get caught up running down behind all of these different people, all of these different leaders. You need to be following Yahushua HaMashiach, you need to be following the Most High Yah. For as the lightning comes out of the east and shines even unto the west, so also, so shall also the coming of the son of Adam be. So we've got to get into scripture. You know, a lot of times we want to get really, really deep, but we don't understand the simple foundational things of scripture. First and foremost, you need to know whether you are the elect of Yah. Do you have a relationship with the Most High Yah? Start there. Because if you don't have a relationship with the Most High Yah, you are already deceived. And you are not the elect of Yah. So you, you'll be caught up and in, taken in by all of these things that are going to happen. If you don't know whether you are in a relationship with the Most High Yah, start looking at your life. Start looking at your life. Start looking, how, looking at how you're living, not according to society, but according to Scripture. According to the commandments of Yah. Okay, you've got to start there. You, If you are living a sinful lifestyle, you've got to ask the Most High Yah for forgiveness. You've got to recognize that you are a sinner in need of forgiveness. You need to be delivered from a lifestyle, lifestyle of sin. You've got to start there. And you've got to recognize that the only perfect gift that you could that was offered up to the Most High Yah that he accepted was Yahushua HaMashiach. When he laid down his life for us 
and he shed his blood so that we could be forgiven. That's who you've got to accept. Yahusha HaMashiach. Not all these other people. He laid down his life for you. You've got to ask Yahusha HaMashiach into your heart, into your life. Accept the fact that he laid down his life for you, that he shed his blood for you. Ask the Most High Yah to forgive you for your sins, for your lifestyle. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're participating in. I don't know where you're hanging out. But the Most High Yah knows. And if you want to make sure that you are ready for the coming of Yahushua HaMashiach, start today with asking the Most High Yah to forgive you for your sins, for any wickedness that you may have done in your past. All of us have sinned and have fallen, have fallen short of Yah's standard. All of us have. And ask Yahushua HaMashiach into your heart, into your life. Be sincere, be real, be genuine. And turn away from a lifestyle of sin today. Turn away from it means to stop doing it. Don't participate in it anymore. You may have to make some some lifestyle changes. You may have stop, may have to stop hanging with some people. You may have to stop going to some places that you've been going to. And you may have to stop participating in, in some things that you've been doing. I don't know what it is. Only you know and Yah knows. And of course, the people that you're doing it with. Okay? I say this in love. If you've come across this video today, this video channel, it is not by happenstance. It is not by coincidence. Please go back and read this passage of scripture. Meditate on it today, everyone. If you already have a relationship with the Most High Yah, I encourage you to keep moving forward in Him. Make sure that you don't backslide. Make sure that you don't fall back into a lifestyle of sin. Don't get caught up into what's going on all around you. Don't get deceived. Because there are so many things out there that can deceive all of us if we're not careful. Okay? I want to encourage you with all of that today. If you have a relationship with the Most High Yah, keep moving forward in Him. Pray for your family members, your friends, your loved ones, your neighbors, your co-workers, who are still lost, lost and haven't come into the knowledge of the truth. But if you are lost today, you say, hey, I'm a lost one, and you want to come into the knowledge of the truth, this is your opportunity to do that today. Take the time today, stop right where you are, and pray. It doesn't have to be a fancy prayer, it needs to be a sincere one. And talk to the Most High Yah today. As you go throughout your day today, may this be a day of rest and relaxation and restoration and rejuvenation for the upcoming week. Also, spend some time in scripture today, everyone. Let this be a time where you renew your mind today. Give the Most High Yah the highest esteem today. Praise Him. Worship Him. Love on him today. Give him the highest esteem today. Give him first place in your life. Spend time with your family today. Quality time with the Most High Yah. Quality time with your family today. And until the next time, I will leave you with Shabbat Shalom. <laughs>